boys? Yes, yes well boys. played. Brilliant. Go on, one last boys. one. Buzz, 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 bees! Yes, boys! This is Manchester, a vibrant city in the heart of Northern England. Renowned for its sporting success and home to two of the biggest football clubs on the planet. Manchester is a city known globally for its massive football teams. However, unknown to many, Manchester is also home to another sports team who are making quite a buzz of their own. When I play dodgeball, I don't think about anything else. Uh, so I'm sort of focused on the game and I forget about whatever it is that might be stressing me out. Um, I die for the people out there. You know, they're, they're brilliant. They're some of the biggest people in my life. The Manchester Bees are an English dodgeball team who this year were promoted to the Dodgeball Premier League. With a focus on community, competition and having fun, dodgeball is a sport that aims to involve everyone. Since its creation, the Manchester Bees have grown in size. It's a diverse club with a strong member base who regularly compete, train and socialise. Suzanne, Aidan and Brew are founding members of the team. Together, they've worked hard to develop the Bees as a community club. But in a city that goes mad for football, what's so special about dodgeball? The great thing about dodgeball is that anybody can play it. At this club, there's so many different types of people, uh, loads of different personalities. But there's, you, you look at our team, there's, there's like a million different body shapes and sizes. It really is like sport for anybody. Because there's so many transferable skills, like you're throwing and you're catching, Anybody can pick it up and you can get to a reasonably decent standard quite quickly. You get to meet people from all kinds of backgrounds who do all kinds of different jobs, have all kinds of outlooks on life. But it's wonderful to be a part of a group where it's so inclusive, we're all friends and it, it's just a, a lot of fun to get to know so many different people. Nice big circle! Okay, just a little bit of movement. We'll start off with some diagonal star jumps. We're going to face this way, come in, that way. Let's go! Like any sport, dodgeball has coaches, and the bees are no different. Players take the lead on coaching, with Aidan and Brew taking a leading role. Both have full-time jobs, and coaching is an added responsibility to their already busy schedules. If you're the doctor, you've got to be super careful not to get hit, because then you're out and there's nobody left in to save your team, OK? So that is the way you lose, OK? Let's go! Hey! And out! Jump! Although coaching is often about the athlete, for Aidan and Brew, the process has become a rewarding one. Hey! Go, go! It just makes me so proud to see someone who, you know, has come in, maybe, you know, had two left hands or something like that, couldn't catch a single thing and then suddenly they're making these dive catches, these dramatic things. It's incredible and to think that they've come here and they've had the opportunity to do that and develop themselves, I think it's great, it just fills me with pride. When I see somebody that I've coached uh, put something into practice in, in a live game, it's, it's one of the best feelings. Um, it, it makes it worthwhile. Sometimes you're bash, banging your head like, against the wall like trying to get a point through to um, players, but when, um, when it sinks in uh, and when it's executed, there, there, there's, there's barely a better feeling. So I love it when that happens.
The Manchester Bees are community driven, making no profit, taking part in community events and pricing sessions to just cover costs. Community lies at the heart of the Bees and is an aspect the club actively encourage. I feel that we're recognised kind of nationally um, by other clubs as well for, for being so inclusive and wide ranging and our reach out into the community is, is really positive. Just at the end of every session, I'll ask the head coaches who their nomination for the player of the day or player of the week is, and um, we'll all give them a, a little clap and put a photo on social media to celebrate what that person's done that week. And I think it's just a nice way of getting our name out there and people can see how much fun we're all having at the sessions and what's going on and to make people feel recognised for the hard work that they're often putting in and sometimes people do just have those weeks where they just play unbelievably and you know it's really good fun to all together recognise that person made 10 catches or whatever amazing thing has happened it's a lovely thing for us all to enjoy at the end. Through community projects the bees are constantly reinforcing their community ties they completed a 24-hour dodgeball game raising money for Christie's Hospital and the team recently hosted a fancy dress fundraiser for Sport Relief. Yeah, we just want to get together, raise a bit of money. Um, all the guys are in fancy dress as well. So we uh, just want to have a little bit of fun with it um, and just see the different type of things that we can do as well to, to raise some money. I've looked around before and just felt humbled and happy that all these people are my friends and there's not a single person in this room who I wouldn't want to go up and speak to. to the final even though we had to play quarter-final, semi-final, final, back to back. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. Got through to the final. Stages, we did actually... We're off to Cannock today. We're going to be playing in uh, a dodgeball league meeting. All the best teams from the north of England uh, go down to one place. We have like, our league meetings there. We get like three games each and we're just going to be inside a sports hall for uh, a good part of the day for the afternoon. Next up, uh, Manchester Killer Bees versus Muds Elite, Manchester University Dodgeball Society. Some of us used to play for them, um, so it should be a good fun match. Competition can often be the focus of team sports, but for many, being in a team can instill a sense of togetherness and camaraderie. Teamwork is at the heart of many sports and provides the opportunity to make friends. Working together towards a common goal helps develop relationships among players. One of the best things about uh, my club, Manchester Bees, for me is, um, is that uh, togetherness. Uh, we, we have like monthly socials and I love to see when we have uh, a new member or a, a new player, perhaps they're new to Manchester, they come along and they make friends and, and they're having a laugh. Um, that's, that's one of the, the, the best things, that's one of the sort of benefits and makes me proud to have uh, set up the club. You do feel a sense of belonging in terms of your teammates as as people and as your friends and you know they'd you know they'd be there for you and help you out and there's a real sense of community that permeates throughout the club I think and particularly being part of the committee where you know sometimes there's really stressful times where we need to do a lot of things we've got so much on our plates but everyone comes together pulls together and 
we've said before, wow, what a team we've got here, you know, it's, it's a fantastic group to be part of. In a sports world obsessed with big money deals and sponsorships, it seems the bees have stripped things back to their beautiful basics. Their outlook is a timely reminder what community sport is all about.